beneath the Florida sun in crystal waters. One of the largest coral reefs on the planet is bursting with life. A bustling underwater city that provides food, shelter, and breeding grounds for hundreds of species. From the smallest cleaners of the reef to the strongest predators, each creature plays a part in this symbiotic ecosystem. But that system is fragile and vulnerable to threat. An underwater battle against a predator that causes destruction wherever it goes. Invasive species in the tropics capable of causing extinctions of native plants and animals. Beauty masks its venomous spines. This menace threatening our economy. Destructive to reefs. Multiplying like crazy. Lionfish. 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 Being closer inland. The lionfish invasion threatens reef biodiversity and fisheries that provide thousands of jobs and billions to the economy. In this region, with no natural predator, our waters must rely on an unnatural predator. Lionfish really are an underwater forest fire wiping out an environment and nobody watches it. Nobody can see it from the shore. Within two years, it's pretty well known that 70 to 90% of the reef fish disappear when lionfish show up to the reef. They're gluttonous, so they eat basically anything that kind of help our coral reefs. I mean, you think of all these other predators on the reef, and this guy waltzes into town and he takes over. An invasive species that is engineered over eons of evolution to be a magnificent ambush predator. They're invisible to fish around them. The first color to disappear in the ocean is red. The white striping on there is the same stippling from the surface sun rays. I filleted a fish open and 75 baby fish were in the stomach at one time. And they're doing this by the thousands every minute. You take out all the babies, there's not a lot to grow up. A single female within a year can lay about two million eggs. In this area of the world, it really has no predators. Where they're from, they have several other species that will eat them, mainly sharks. Here, we have no sharks that hunt in that manner. Our sharks look for the weak, and the lionfish aren't weak. Floridians have really stepped up. Florida is really tackling this really well. If humans don't step in, there's, there's nothing else that's gonna do it. Humans are the only predator for them. When I first started diving, people noticed I was coming up with a lot of lionfish on my dives, and I'd go out in the charter boats, and everyone would go, oh, there's the lion slayer. And every time I'd go diving, I made it my mission to remove as many as possible, sometimes 100 pounds in a day, 500 pounds in a week. They don't understand what a spear is, so it's very easy to take them out. Actually, they don't even run, because they're so cocky and so confident that their spines will protect them, that they don't even move. I'm a vegan. I don't allow any other fishing on my boat. It's strictly lionfish. It took me a while to come to the realization that I needed to kill this fish. I was skeptical at first. I didn't really want to just kill things, but want to admire them and enjoy them. But when I realized what damage they were causing, I actually turned the complete circle and decided to devote a lot of my time to actually eradicating them as much as I can and, and helping the environment. You know, it's killing a fish, but killing one fish equals thousands and thousands of fish that you've saved. I realized Restaurants can sell these things and they want them. So I'll bring them to a restaurant and they'll use them instead of using other fish. You know, if people are gonna eat fish, they might as well eat lionfish. Well, lionfish can live up to a thousand feet deep. So in order for us to get to those fish, we have to wait for them to come in closer and closer to the shore. Divers are doing a great job, especially at depths where we can go comfortably, but we do need something more. We need to go deeper where they're still thriving. I'm Scott Canello, and I'm the founder of Lionfish Central. And my name is Scott Cassell. I'm owned by my little submarine back of me, and we're adapting her to be the first underwater fishing submarine in the world. So you have your free divers, then you have your scuba divers that can go deeper for longer, but even they max out. With the submarine, we can document and observe what kind of lionfish populations there are. He came up with the idea that maybe we could actually capture lionfish with the sub too. And if we can catch them, that's even better because then we can keep them from coming up at night and feeding on the reef fish. I have a little over 2,000 dives and subs, and 
almost 15,000 hours. So I just love subs. And after a while of driving everybody else's subs, I wanted my own. It was a hull that was rusting in somebody's backyard. And then I built it up from there with the help of different engineers and friends. How do you capture lionfish? Well, the law says you can spear them. So that's the first effort we're developing. You can spear the lionfish, pull them back, scrape them off, and put them into a container, reset, and then fire it again, and do that hundreds of times a dive. So we're trying to invent something that's never existed before, a sub-based spear gun. We want to make sure that this is all perfect, ready to go, and bring it down to the keys and start testing it in real-world trials. You can go down there and actively remove lionfish and help save the environment and earn an income. And this is the only time I've ever heard of that. Usually there's lots of money in killing the oceans, there's no money in saving it. This is one of those few exceptions that's wrong. The dream of this project would be that we're spearing lionfish two to three days a week, creating an income for Scott to be able to do this full time and make a living off of selling the lionfish to the local restaurants and wholesalers. My name is Omar Olson, and I'm the executive chef at Lionfish Delray. I'd probably compare the lionfish to a snapper. It's kind of buttery, flaky, white fish, almost like a, a sweet finish, if you will. I think the wow factor is how dangerous it is. And I, a lot of people, they like a little danger, right? It's, it's what makes anything interesting. Not a lot of people think that lionfish is edible, so they think it's poisonous. It's actually venomous. And high temperatures, especially when you're frying it in 350 degree oil, that'll denature the venom naturally. Our main supplier is through Nate. Brings it all in probably about 40 pounds at a time. Increasing the demand for this invasive species would be the main way in a lot of restaurants for us to kind of help out those spear fishermen. I chose Lionfish Joy for the sole fact that it was sustainable. For me, it's kind of giving back. These animals eat a lot of local commercial fish that would probably end up on your dinner plates at most restaurants. The more we consume of these, we can actually allow some of the other fish that are endangered to kind of come back into the ecosystem and reproduce and thrive, especially for the local fishermen. That's how they kind of make their living. That allows other restaurants to be biodiverse in their menu. We're either going to start eating lionfish, or we're going to start eating lionfish. I'd rather eat them, you know, before they do all the damage and that's all that's there. I'm trying to do all I can do as a person to help rather than hinder the environment. And I'll eat one every once in a while because why the heck not? I actually have a shirt that says, I'm vegetarian, but I'll eat lionfish. You beat them by eating them. Because over the course of a lifespan of a lionfish, they're going to eat tens of thousands of reef fish. Each. I think that being able to offer seafood and various uh, diverse ways is very important to what we all do as chefs in this region and in general. You can go have a really good meal and help save the reefs. I mean, how hard is that? The steel is alive and operating a sub in the water is, you know, by nature hazardous. You know, so many things can go wrong. I started bleeding out the ballast and it started dropping tail first. And you go, Scott, what are we gonna do about that? I go, it's okay, we're gonna be adding weight on the front. What? Spear system. The goal is to keep testing it, making sure it can take on waves and, and float and sink and be buoyant where it's supposed to be. The next couple of weeks, we're gonna be working on the spearing system and mounting it so that we can actually catch lionfish. I have a hunch that this is going to be a decade-long mission, if not more. I think this particular mission is so important that I'm dedicating the rest of my life and the rest of the life of this sub to it. It's that important. I'm a vet and I've had some difficult times. The ocean calms me and keeps me very happy. And if you get around the ocean in the right conditions, it can heal almost anything because it is bigger than us, it demands attention, it demands respect and love. And when you give her all of that, she gives you back much more than you ever can. There's not enough that I can do as one person to help prevent all of the terrible things that are happening in the ocean right now. But if I can develop 
one facet, submarine spearing lungfish. If I can develop one facet, there might be several people coming behind me doing the exact same thing and helping more and deeper depths than people know about. I hope that as time goes on, an actual predator will emerge for the lionfish, but as it sits right now, human beings are the predator. If we just have certain groups of people taking on chunks of the reef at a time, all throughout the state around Florida, we can certainly make huge, huge differences. As long as we're here and we continue to do what we do, I think that will inspire other chefs and other restaurants to start their own missions on showcasing what lionfish is, helping to capture and eliminate the problems from our waters. There's a lot of single people out there, one person doing something, one person doing something. There's a free diver or a scuba diver or somebody who makes lionfish jewelry. It's all of us doing something, how little or small or big you want to do it, but all of us doing something. We need to do our best to quell this problem until a natural predator emerges. That's the only thing we can do right now until that actually happens. It's all us right now.